Hi artists! Today we're learning about the three primary colors. Remember that there are three colors called the primary colors. They are the first colors red, yellow, and blue. These colors cannot be made, they just exist. In your tools, you should find red, yellow, and blue. You might find some colors that are like red, but pink is not red. Please do not use pink. You might find a light blue. You could use light blue, but try to use the regular blue that you see here. So what are the three primary colors? Red, yellow, and blue. I thought today that we should paint and use the primary colors. All you need is your markers, a paintbrush, and some water. I'm making circles of color so that I can show you how to paint. Anytime an artist is painting, they need a paintbrush. The green part is called a handle. The shiny part, be careful not to get paint on it. And up top, we have the bristles. Be sure that the bristles always have a good hair day. They need to be wet, so tap, tap in your cup, swirl, and wipe on the edge. Tap, tap, swirl, wipe, wipe. Tap, tap, swirl, wipe, wipe. Be careful never ever to make water splatter out of the cup. Once the bristles of your paintbrush are wet, you can start adding this water carefully to your marker on your paper. The water makes the marker become a liquid that's super similar to paint. You can even take what you made and paint it all over the page. Just be careful to change your colors in between. Now I'm making the yellow into a liquid paint. And look, I can paint elsewhere on my page too. Tap, tap, swirl, wipe, wipe to change the colors. And let's make some blue paint as well. Because what are the three primary colors? Red, yellow, and blue. If I need more water, I can always gently dip my brush back in the water to get it more wet again. Anytime you wanna paint with markers, you can first draw your design and then paint on it. Or you can make a separate paper to have your colors on and then you can use that to paint onto a new paper. Just be careful when you're painting, even this kind of painting, that you always clean your brush between each color. Say it with me. Tap, tap, swirl, wipe, wipe. Tap, tap, swirl, wipe, wipe. When you're painting, it's always wise to have some sort of paper nearby. This was a Kleenex. At the end, dry off your paintbrush so that it is nice and clean, and you can even use the paper or the Kleenex to get all of that extra water off your paper. Have fun painting with markers today.